mm-hmm. walk into the conference room, bro. And that was him, right? And there. Mike Tyson sitting at the head of the table, smoking a joint. That's like, him. It, it was him for real. So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> he like, don't, 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 yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Mm-hmm. Sacrifice. I've done it. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. You have to do it. You Gotta do it. In order to grow. Exactly. For real. And, and so I was looking at something where I seen you you on an interview with Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah. And I was like, dude, you and, and you and you really, you know, paid homage. You know, you respect him, man. Um, how, did, how did you link with him? And, and how did y'all build uh, a Mike, relationship? Mike, man, Mike is my, when I say that's big, bro, who would have thought in a million years, <laughs> man? <laughs> Man, it's, so, it's so sad. To me. So, so I wrote, I created, I met Evander Holyfield, and you know we were talking with. I was talking to, I went had lunch with Evander, and in, uh, in, in L.A. and uh, every time every story Evander told me had Mike in it, and I'm like, man, why you keep talking? I'm like this man talking about, man, he has something on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't never got over the ear thing, man. Like, man, that nigga did, 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 he disrespected me, man. He disrespected my game, man. Like, I was, sucks, supposed, to, I was supposed to do that that night. Like, <laughs> he really stole his moment, really, when you think about so, it. So, you know wait, so, wait. <laughs> do you know this? Yeah, yeah I, know. I know this. So, he, he told me the moment. whole thing. So, I'm like, bro, I said, man, we got to do a, sh- we got to do a, we, I, got, I came up with this, this movie. Okay. And I'm like, man. Came up with this movie. I'm like, I gotta go get. He said, You get Mike. If you get Mike, I'm in. <laughs> I said, All right. I had no contacts to Mike. <laughs> I was like, How am I gonna find Mike freaking Tyson, man? Somebody knows somebody. Somebody that knows somebody that knows know somebody. somebody. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> exactly. So I just so I, I pulled it off. Exactly. So my, I'm in Arizona with my cousin Junior Spivey and, my, and his wife, Tabitha, my cousin's Tab. She was like, uh, Columbus, I, you should call, you know who you should call? You should call Sam. I said, Sam. Sam is like new Don King. You know, Sam behind everybody. You know the white hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's the Uncle Sam. That's wow. my Uncle Sam. That's my man. The real you know, Uncle Sam. The real Uncle yes, Sam. <laughs> so I said, man, uh, I call Uncle Sam. He said, hey, 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 Columbus, I got you. He said, I got you right now. And I had been doing all these road maps. And trying to going, get to Yeah. Him. But Uncle Sam, Sam, Sam be- bing, bong, bong, bing, bong. Um, and he just got it. So he was like, when are you back in L.A.? Because I was in Arizona. And uh, I was back in L.A. That was a Saturday. Uh, I, I'm thinking I'm meeting with uh, Mike Tyson, brother-in-law, Azim, who is now my brother, uh, and his wife, Kiki. Mm-hmm, and I mm-hmm. walk into the conference room, bro. And that was him right And there. Mike Tyson sitting at the head of the table smoking a joint. That's like, him. It, it was him for real. So I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he like, no. <laughs> Man, this his podcast is crazy. <laughs> what the hell's going on? So I'm, I start. I'm like, he like a pitch. You know, they're like, give him, give him the pitch, pitch it. So I start, I start opening. Like I'm like, I'm very much into it. I'm like, okay. So we open. It's it's a, a dusty road. Boom. The, so, so it, there's a truck, blah, 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 and then this pigeon flies onto the thing, and the pigeon lands onto the. And they said, "Don't tell me this pigeon lands into my hand." <laughs> <laughs> How could you keep a serious face during the whole time? You I was know. dead ass. Cause it's Mike. Me. What you mean? Because I, no. I was dead. I'm dead ass serious. And he nailed it. He said, "Don't tell me the pigeon lands in my hand." I said, it definitely lands in your hands, Mike. And that's the opening. Wow. He was like, what the fuck did the guy explain this guy? <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> Uncle Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Man. OG, Best. triple, triple OG. Oh, he found himself in these podcasts. They loving it, man. He back. But you know, but you know no, him. man, Mike, Mike, I love him so much. His family, his wife uh, is my sister, his brother, Azim. Man, his his mother-in-law, uh, uh, Amar Ali, Pop Ali. You know what I mean? They, 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 are, they are special humans, man. And uh, 
you know, I'm I'm happy to see that Mike. Uh, he was the story for me. Like this was a champion, man. Yeah, he fell from grace. But you when know? you met him, though, compared, you know how like I see you on TV all the time and stuff like that, and I get my own perception of you. But when you actually meet a person, you learn something new. What was it about him that surprised you when you met him in person compared to yeah, nothing. nothing? Nothing. He's exactly who I thought he was. You thought yeah, because he was because my spirit identified with him from, from okay. The first time I ever seen him, that fight, that everything. But you know, he's a student. You know, like you can make jokes about Mike, but like Mike's a brilliant man. You That's know what, what everybody says. Like he's a freaking mm -hmm. brilliant man. Like for real. Just because he doesn't sound, like, doesn't come out right. The way he talks. That don't stop you from. <laughs> but he's more real. He's right. more well read than people that have master degrees wow. at universities. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.